All right, next time coming to the stage is slowly becoming a regular on the comedy scene. Ladies and gentlemen, Wes Smith. You just. I found this in the paper today. Smart says. Steer clear, people. Unless you want to get products from people who make Oreos, knockoffs, maxi pads, and Tussin. And bleach. Smart sense. For all your maxi pad, Oreo knockoff, bleach, Tussin needs Kmart. You want to get that all up from one person? Your maxi pads and your Oreo knocked off? <laughs> Not me. I'm just trying to help you guys out, okay? I don't live in a Kmart plague city, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, it's good stuff. At one point in my life, I would have lived an unhappy life if it meant all of you, the rest of the world, could live a happy life and everything would work peaceful like they wanted to. And then I grew up a little more and I looked at the world a little more carefully and I realized, screw that noise, you guys are selfish. All of you are. All of you, all of you smiling faces. I'll take my happiness any day. Well, screw your happiness. Screw all your happiness. I'll take my happiness any day. Had a hell of a weekend. Lost my phone. Good news, I deleted my dick pic from it before I did. <laughs> Ain't gonna worry about that being out there. Did I put this guy through this phone? Is this an almost guy's dick? Anybody here on a date? No? Not on a date. I see men hugging women. What do you call that? No, we're just. <laughs> We're just chilling. But I don't understand guys that are like, oh, I can't date this girl, that girl, because she's over 30 and 130 pounds, blah, blah, blah. I'm an asshole. Do you not like meatloaf and blowjobs? <laughs> meatloaf and blowjobs are rock, man. I got to you. I do. Say your significant other gives you head and makes you meatloaf in the same day. They love you. They do. Or, they're cheating, or for the really fun part, they're going to murder you. That's right. Sleep with an eye open, be your last blowjob in your last male man. So I'm telling you, murder you sleep is a setup. She sucks you off, and she makes you meet love, or gives you some... What are your favorite dishes in the same day? Sleep with an eye open, so I'm telling you. Like, anybody here seen the movie The Wrestler? With Mickey Rourke and Marissa Tomei? Like, he falls in love with her. He's a wrestler, she's a stripper. He makes a big old scene because she's not wanting to get with him. And he, you know, he, like, try a more of a suave approach, Mickey. That's what I would have done. I would have been, like, getting a dance, shoving the money in her ass, and then, like, take the money I shoved in your ass, and buy you a little kiss and chicken nuggets and furries. <laughs> and the gel pen while you're at it. I mean, these worlds don't combine. Tell me, what she took the money out of your ass and bought these kids some chicken nuggets. <laughs> tell me, tell me, Mr. Tell me, these worlds line up, these greedy worlds. The wrestling is stripping. We sweat for a living. You understand? <laughs> oh, oh. I like, I never really told this story on stage. I told it Friday to a minimal crowd, but. Like, you know when you get in a relationship with somebody that's so crazy, they'll send you, or they'll just say the craziest stuff, or send you the craziest, craziest text. Like, this one girl I used to hook up with, like, we didn't date, I just did it when I was, you know. In those times, in those times, we just need it. But, she texted me one day, she was like, so stuck on me. She was like, do you know, you are so important, and so crucial, there are worlds just waiting for you to come, and worlds waiting for you to go. And I texted her back and I was thinking, if I was so important and so crucial, why don't I be doing something more important and crucial than taking a shit when you sent me this text? <laughs> you think I would. I ain't sweating no atoms. I ain't, I ain't helping shit. 
I'm working my own shit out when you sent me this. I am important and crucial. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Justify on FX. I love Justify. It like stars Raylan Gibbons. He's the main character. Definition badass. Gets all the ass, kicks all the ass. Stares down a barrel of guns. I don't give a you know what? Badass. And like I'm just gonna give you in a nutshell every episode of Justice Justify. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who haven't saw it, seen it, but still watch it. But in a nutshell, every episode of Justify. Here we go. Raylan, take your pecker out of that witness. We got a job to do, damn it. <laughs> Pow! Raylan, take your pecker out of that ex-wife. We got a job to do, damn it. Pow! Raylan, take your pecker out of that ham. We got a job to do, damn it. <laughs> now, he doesn't actually put his dick in a ham or bang an animal in that an object, but you're waiting for it. You are waiting for it. And then, <laughs> cut to in a show. Phil Jack's like, we're gonna cut you in two, Marshall. And he's like, I'd like to see you try. They go for it, trying to get to draw on their definition of badass. And he's pow, 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 In a scene, in an episode, in a nutshell, every episode of Justified. That's my time. Thank you, folks. Thank you. I love you all.